Let's use Zapier to build and embed an AI tutor right into OutCanvas LMS. In this short episode, we'll sign up for a Zapier account, access the iframe embed code. Don't worry, I don't know how to code either. Add the iframe HTML code to our Canvas page and post our chatbot for our students to use. Zapier is a task function platform that allows you to automate many processes that normally consume human hours but do not necessarily require a lot of skill. It's mostly used by business enterprise, but educators can find a home with it too. While there are many free functions, including building a chatbot, the version you are seeing today required a one-month subscription. You can make and use the chatbot for free. It will just link out to a redirect page from Canvas, and that is shown in another video on the channel. In this case, we are embedding it into Canvas to keep everything in-house. Once I click Chatbots, I can give the bot a bit of direction and tell it how to respond and what tone to use. I can select where it pulls information. Notice how I can plug in data sets or PDF files from which it will respond. So if I have an e-textbook, I can have it generate answers from certain chapters. Now, our AI tutor is part of our classroom, and his name is Slater, so we used his image as an avatar. Notice on conversations. I can see the last seven days of conversations between students and Slater. With my paid version, I can see weeks longer, but this is really helpful in letting me know what my students do not understand, so I can use an announcement or refine instruction. I could adjust creativity, but this is a tutor, so I want it to be pretty matter-of-fact. Now, to embed this into my course, I click on Share or Embed. Be sure to click on iframe and copy the embed code. Go to your Canvas page and click on Edit. Then, click the little embed cloud on the right. Paste the embed code. Then, click on Submit. Remember to save the page, like always. From here, you will see the chatbot embedded in the page. Now again, Slater is an AI part of our class culture, so he has an introduction video, and the tutorial is on another video in the channel. But now, my students can begin interacting with content. What's more, I could place Slater on any and all content pages. So if I gave my learners some problems to practice, I can have Slater embedded so they could get help as they go. In this case, he has his own tutoring page, but I can ask him questions about content and ask him for practice problems. He'll eventually walk me through how to solve them. One thing to notice, Zapier's bot still struggles with some math signs, but it is getting better quickly. If I didn't understand, because I'm trying to read to learn here, I can ask Slater for some related videos and he will link me to them. Now remember, as the teacher, I have a record of these conversations, so I can see what my students do not understand, and I can use that information and follow up with instruction the next week. So start to finish, I have a chatbot embedded in under five minutes. If this is new for you and your students, I recommend explicitly teaching them about bias and errors that AI make, and thus remembering that you are still their best learning support, but that your AI tutor can be quite helpful in many cases when they cannot reach you. If you try it, I'd love to hear how it went. As always, thanks for watching.